Hi guys. I'm just here to pull some cards. Let's see. I have some out here. I got quite a few out here, actually. You know how you clean it up and you're like, oh, I haven't used these in a while. I want love. I want, what do you call it? Rainbows, gumdrops, lollipops, fantasy. <laughs> I know, right? Enough of the illusions. But every once in a while, ooh, let's see what's going on in love. Before I do this, I must say... Please send me rainbows and lollipops. Jeez. You know, all the stories coming out, they're all like these strange, odd people. Like people, crazy people. People stalking and lurking from behind, from afar. All types of shenanigans. Like, really? So, let's see what's coming up. In love, or show me the current situation. Whatever you need us to know. Oh, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection. You guys are having a strong connection with somebody, or... Maybe you did. Let's see what the next card is. It comes out. All right, I'm going to shuffle these again. Yeah, these cards are old now. Wow, I think I had my show like almost like four years. Yeah. Four years. I've been on. Yeah, it's kind of weird. All right, more. Give me one more. What else is going on in love? We Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Guys. You guys have chemistry with somebody. Let me see what the next card ends up being because it says you have chemistry with somebody. This could be somebody from the past. But someone someone, someone from the past wants to come back. This could be the one. I feel like whoever this is, you're going to end up questioning them. <laughs> questioning. This could be the one doubting them. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. For some of you, There's two messages there. There is, um, let me grab this. Hmm, I think this one will do. Wait, hold on, let me see. I don't know, I'm weird like that. Uh, eh, 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 anyway. Anyway, oops, sorry about that. Yeah, so uh, this could be the one. I get two messages out of it. This could be the one. This could be the person who you guys were with before. This person that wants to re-enter, but it says that there's magnetic attraction, right? So there's chemistry there. You guys have chemistry. But if this person was in your life before, the question is, why did they leave, right? So you guys could be questioning, is this a person for me? The other piece to it is you have already met the romantic partner you see. Some of you guys, I believe, have met this person. And when you see them again, there's going to be this chemistry there. You may know this person already is my point. You've met this person already. The other one, this is literally just somebody from the past. You probably did some FS, whatever. Give me more for love, please. Give me love. Oh, a wedding. Look at that. There's something with it. This is not going well. This story. This situation involves marriage. Maybe somebody's not married anymore. Maybe somebody's not married anymore. They don't care about their marriage. You never know these days. You see all types of strange. Give me more, please. Give me more. What else is going on here? Tell me more. This involves a wedding. This person that you guys could be reconciling with or this person that wants to come back could actually be married. Um, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, this person could have been married before. This person that you're going to reconcile with or this person who wants to reconcile with you. Give me more. For love. Very soon, you guys need to decide what you want. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Do you want to reconcile with somebody from the past? It looks like some of you guys have reservations about this person. I see something here. It says free yourself. I'm not going to take it because I was shuffling when I did it. Let's see what happens. This could be the one. You guys are doubting it or somebody's doubting something. Somebody could be doubting that they'll have an opportunity with you because... Either they got married on you or this person is married or something having to do with the wedding. Some people have situations where they're reluctant to go into something because of the partner that comes along with it, right? Whoever they were with before could be ex-wife, baby mama, whatever. It doesn't, it's not necessarily, it's a situation sometimes, you know, sometimes you get along just fine with the people, but then you have some people that bring along difficult personalities, Right? So your person could be mild and nice or, you know, easygoing or whatever, but then they have this person from their past. Well, you know, I, listen, I, you know, somebody somebody that they dealt with in the past romantically, like stuff like that. 
that may not be the nicest. Something about an engagement. Some of you guys very soon. Some of you guys, something about an engagement. Your love life is ascending. Mm. Somebody's very soon. Somebody's deciding whether or not they want to propose. Engagement. But wedding is reversed. Give me one more. We also have stay optimistic about your love life. <sighs> some people could have literally just had some issues with the idea of marriage, right? This could be the one I'm not sure. I do want to get engaged. My love life, I want it to ascend. However, I'm not optimistic because of the status or the conditions that I've witnessed marriages in. I mean, even if you look at the divorce rate now, some people have some reservations. They're like, listen, and a lot of people will tell you too. One thing I will say is like, once you get married for some reason, one or the other partner... <laughs> not in all cases I don't know if they get freaked out or it's like I don't know what I did oh my goodness like that anyway we have something about deception that comes up reverse here some of you guys could have felt like you were deceived in the past buy a new love make the effort you deserve love I'm not taking those but it did come up yeah some of you guys are um not optimistic about Proposing to somebody that is either married, was married, or something. Some of you guys have reservations because somebody's marriage didn't work out. So you're like, if I propose to this person, I don't know. But I still feel like whoever this is has a certain outlook on marriage and what they've seen it look like. Something like that. Let's see what else goes on. Whoever. This could be your energy. Could be your person's energy. Where's my... Do I have any... Do I have any tarot cards that are not going to like take over the whole table? How about that? Let's try that. Yeah. No, I'll take these. Let's see. I don't even know what to pull it on. Okay, first of all, who would this be about? Like, <laughs> who is this? Is this the listener? Is this the person looking at the video or is this their partner? This is up for so you guys to decide. We have the King of Swords here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. This could be your energy. This is somebody that is in their power, right? I feel like for some of you guys, this card does come up upright. So you're dealing with this is either you or your person. This person is an upstanding type of person, right? I feel like this person is not one of those people easily shaken by things such as like bribery or something like that. They're not going to just do stuff. They're not going to just do all types of shady stuff. What they do is intentional. What they do is just and it's for a cause, if that makes any sense, right? So somebody who there's got to be a reason behind why they do things. They're not susceptible to bribery. So there's somebody who's pretty upstanding. I feel like this could be your energy even, right? Let's see what comes next. Tell me more about the King of Swords or why the King of Swords is here. Some of you guys could be reuniting with the King of Swords or you are the King of Swords, whatever that means. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups energy that comes up. For some of you guys, somebody is having reservations about whether or not they want to give a love offer, a proposal, or something like that. You have the Knight of Cups that comes out reversed here. I feel like for some of you guys, I don't know if this person is moody. Because I get the energy that maybe this person is upright, but maybe they're moody. Or they could think you're moody. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There's something about somebody coming up as moody here. Possibility. Now, for some of you guys here, this person could also think that you are emotionally manipulative. Here we go with the nonsense. Somebody could think somebody is emotionally manipulative, all right? Or you could think this King of Swords is emotionally manipulative, something like that. Give me more, please. Give me more. All right, some of you guys might think this person has some strange business going on. I believe they do not. I think the only nonsense would be... I don't know if they have an element of immaturity or this person could think this about you. We have the nine of wands. It comes out reversed. For some of you guys here, this has to do with proposals. I feel like it could have to do with a project, actually. Something. More. Yeah. I feel like some of you guys are tucked away. Tucked away doing something, isolating yourselves. And I feel like for some cases, it could have to do with you trying to give birth to something, a creative idea. Something came up. 931? <laughs> I don't know why people say, I guess that's like a number or something. I don't really say stuff like that, but I'm sure once I learn it, I will. Um, there's something here. All right. The energy that I'm getting, because we also pulled the three of wands reverse for you guys too. So I feel like whoever this is here, there's going to be some delays with them moving the relationship further. All right. I feel like there's setbacks because they have reservations about you. 
this person could be isolating, this person could be staying away, or they feel like you isolate them and you keep them away, something like that. This is somebody who has paranoia or somebody who could suffer from paranoia. Like, like I said before, I feel like what it boils down to is this person has an idea of something, idea of a marriage or something like that. Idea of a marriage, idea of what a marriage looks like, idea of what a relationship looks like. And I feel like that's what makes them afraid. There's some reason why this Knight of Cups is coming up reverse. That's somebody who's withholding, um, you know, withholding a proposal or something like that, right? They don't necessarily have a consistent mood. I haven't made up my mind yet. In some cases, this person could have an unrealistic expectation. First of all, if this is somebody from the past, they could have a serious side to them, but they could also have another side to them, or they think this is, they think this about you. So you could think this person has a serious side when it comes to work, but when it comes to commitment, it might be something else. I feel like for some of you, you separated from this person because there was inconsistencies with their behavior. So for some of you, I don't know if you're going to go back to this person. This person has isolated, meaning they stepped away. There's something about them still having faith in this where they can come back and ask you something. This is somebody from the past. What did this person do? I feel like this person's moods may have gotten in the way of things, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. and, this, and also this person had, they didn't have the ability to look forward, right? I feel like for some of you guys, this person may not have any money. I feel like there's some kind of conflicts. I feel like this person might also have some challenges with a place to live, something like that with the Ten of Pentacles reverse here. It could be something something having to do with their home, conflicts at the house. We have the Three of Swords that comes up. So Three of Swords in this deck, heartbreak, loss, divorce. This person could have actually had some sort of a divorce from somebody, which is why you have the wedding that comes out reversed. I thought this person may have been married before. This is collective energy. I don't even know what this is. Anyway. Yeah, I feel like this person probably has some challenges at the house or something like that. Some kind of... And this person could also be suffering from depression, too. Give me more. What else do we need to know? Why do we have the Nine of Wands Reverse? And we have the Three of Wands Reverse. So we have Nine of Wands Reverse, Three of Wands Reverse. Why? The Five of Swords comes up. I feel like whatever this is about, this person is having some kind of conflict. Whatever happened with this relationship, I feel like it it just keeps talking about somebody leaving. I feel like somebody may have been in a bad marriage because this card talks about abusive relationships, the five of swords, sadness, <clears throat> sorry, loss, abusive relationships. It's upright. So that's why somebody, there's something about an abusive relationship that somebody wants to, I think somebody who's married is trying to come to you or something like that. You have the six of wands that comes out reverse. I feel like somebody's coming to you guys, right? Something about a failure. There was something that they failed at. I don't know if this was marrying somebody else. This person doesn't have any confidence. This person is falling back. It looks like from a marriage because it failed and they're trying to come back to you. This story is the same no matter what card you pull. Jeez. Alright, well, to me, this feels just like the other one. I don't know if you guys are talking to this person. I would think you are. I would think, uh... Anyway, what else do we need to know? Just give me a couple more cards, being that I'm just here pulling cards. Why not? Alright, maybe you guys just need to hear somebody's voice today. Maybe you just need somebody to pull some cards. <laughs> Alright, what else? What else? Advice for whoever this is, or what else do we need to know? Really, no structure for this read no structure for it i'm literally just i don't want to say in between projects but before i get into real serious stuff not saying that this isn't um house five passion play children confident and creativity i feel like some of you guys are having some blocks or something like that some of you guys may need to attend to your children a little bit more or get in touch with the more playful side of yourselves with confident confidence and creativity there could be some blocks there uh we also have the self node that comes up so destined to re destined to release there's something that you guys are holding on to that you may need to release all right some of you guys like i said before you might need to let this person go this person is trying to come back but 
This person is trying to come back. Maybe the person needs to let go of their spouse or whoever that is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is everybody's story. Give me one more piece of advice before I pull some different cards. We also have house 10. So this is structure, discipline, life mission, accomplishment, and career. Yeah, there's something with the career here. We pointed that out earlier that this person, whoever this is, it seems like they're really serious about their career, but they have some other things going on, right? So you see where they could have had that playboy. I have reservations. In some cases, these reservations that they're having here with the Knight of Cups reversed is do I go back to you? Do I... Is, is it a failure of nerve? Do I have enough nerve to actually go back and tell you that I failed? It looks like at partnering up or marrying somebody else, do I have enough, I'll say me, to, to go back and say what I got to say? And it actually looks like this person tries. Mutable, surrender, fluidity, and what is this? Welcoming change, welcoming change, yeah. So I feel like this person is welcoming change now. So I feel like they're trying, some of them or whoever this is, trying to change from their current situation back over to you. This really gives me back to me type of story. Conjunction, yup. A union merging and coming together. Well, didn't I just say that? So you guys have somebody who's coming back to you after they went and married somebody else or something like that. I mean, if you're cool with that, cool. Knock yourself out. Whatever that means to you. No judgment over here. No, really, it is not. If that's what, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Like I said, no judgment. I mean, I would think about why, you know, what happened. Well, you better have a good explanation for that one. Just saying. Let me see what other nonsense comes up here. So we know that there's somebody who wants to come back to you guys. Somebody from the past wants to reconcile. Is there anything else I want to pull? Yeah. <clears throat> Why not? Let me just pull some of these to see what comes up. I really do want to do this too. Hold up. I want to do this too. I want to see something. Now, I'm at 17 minutes. Literally, I'm just experimenting. So, all right. Tell me anything else I need to know about this person Ooh, or this story. I guess so. Give me, give me two cards or three. I'll take three cards. Just because now I'm literally just experimenting, guys. So, somebody... There's something with bad health that comes up. Bad health comes up reversed. I really don't want to play it like that, but whatever. Bad health comes up reversed. Somebody could have been accused. Somebody who could have been accused of having bad health. All right. Or somebody who's not telling you that they have bad health. There's something about the community. Family and community do come up. I don't know how this is relative. I have no idea. But there's something with family. There's something with community that comes up. Somebody with bad health or somebody, with, I don't know, something about bad health. Give me one more. Something about a thief. All right. Somebody said something. Somebody could be rumored to have or somebody's not disclosing that they have bad health. It feels like it has something to do with the family in the community stealing something. There's a thief here that comes up. Give me one more card. One more. And we also have somebody stealing a gift. So there's something about stealing a gift. All right. So somebody in bad health, somebody in the community who could have questionable health could be trying to steal something, steal somebody's gift, or somebody's not disclosing that they're in bad health. Somebody's not telling the community that they have bad health. And there's something about a thief and a gift. Let me see. Tell me about bad health, please. I just want to see because I'm doing another... Kipper, let's see. All right, somebody was bad health, or they, and this person is also having murky thoughts. So I feel like this is somebody who's not really remembering things, or they don't. There's something that they don't remember clearly with murky thoughts. Give me more. All right, so somebody has bad health, and they might have some memory problems too. Something with a court. The courthouse does come out reversed here. The courts. Somebody in the community doesn't want to go to court. The court, they don't have all... I don't think this person has the murky thoughts. This is murky thoughts, not murky remembrance. Murky thoughts. Something murky is not necessarily being clear. Or not piecing together why you were asked to do something, why something was done. Something with the courts. Or 
murky as in I don't have the belief that I can actually beat this, speak to this, something like that. Give me more, please, under thief. We see that somebody's going to court. There's something with the community and family in the courthouse. There's something here with the gift. So gift comes out upright twice. You have gift that comes up here. I said, what did they steal? What was this about? Somebody's going to court over a gift. And they have murky thoughts on the situation. Give me one more, please. One more. And we have that somebody had a meeting. There was a meeting had at some point over this, whatever this was about, something about a meeting. What else do I need to know? So we know somebody in bad health is having murky thoughts about the community, something having to do with health. Clarify, give me one more. What's that about? What are the bad thoughts? The bad thoughts about some kind of changes that are coming in. So there are changes coming in. Somebody with bad health and murky thoughts has a change coming in. Tell me about the community or family with the courthouse reversed. Clarify, please. This has to do with the main female. So something with a female. Mm. Give me one more, please. Tell me, clarify, gift. Tell me about the court being reversed in the gift. We have a false person. Somebody presented themselves as a false person. There was a false person who presented themselves as the main female. Or... Let me see, because I feel like another female or somebody going to come out. Give me one more, please. One more. Toil and labor. Yep, somebody falsely represented. Somebody somebody presented false information, if that makes any sense. Like, they presented false information, said they were somebody. Somebody pretended to be the main female when they were not. This had to do with occupation, work, toil, and labor, something like that. And just one more, please. One more. Something about a courtship. Somebody misrepresented themselves in a courtship. And there was a meeting had. There was a meeting that was attended. And somebody attended under the false name, false person, whoever this is, right? Give me, give me more. That's my last row. Give me more, please. <clears throat> what else happened here? Tell me about bad health, <clears throat> murky thoughts, and change. Clarify, please. Success in love. Mm. There was somebody who's in bad health that maybe they thought they weren't going to have any success in love. Or the change the change is you're not going to have any success in love. Whatever that's about. Give me one more, please. Tell me what is going on with the community, the court, and the main female. Clarify, please. Something with prison. Somebody does not want to go to prison. There's a main female who played a false person who is now up for prison. Or it's hoping that they don't go to prison. We have prison reversed. All right. So that would be the tower reversed. If I were to look at it from tarot, right? That is jail. That would also symbolize something having to do with insurance fraud. And it also speaks to a false person. Somebody falsifies something. Give me one more. Tell me about toil and labor and gift, please. We have big luck. This somebody ran into bad luck when they tried to do this or something like that. Big luck is reversed here, so that didn't go well for whoever tried it with this. Who is this? Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. That's a thief card. Somebody tried to steal a gift, and they had bad luck doing it. One more. Clarify toil and labor and courtship. We have a pleasant letter. Somebody, there was something that had to do with a letter. A pleasant letter. A pleasant letter about a courtship. A meeting. Pleasant letter. There was a... A meeting, a courtship, and a pleasant letter that came in. So somebody received a letter about something. Give me one more. Clarify. Oh, let me clarify with this other deck. Clarify, please. What is success in love and the prison? Mm. The wealthy man. There could be a wealthy man involved who is not having success in love and on the verge of prison. I feel like this could entail a couple. Possibly, yeah, the wealthy man. Or you could have had this false person go towards a wealthy man, right, and didn't have any success in love. Give me one more, please. Tell me what's going on with the prison reversed and big luck under false person, a privileged lady. So there's a wealthy man and a privileged lady. There was a false person who could be going to jail. The false person, bad luck, privileged lady. I think somebody tried to play a privileged lady. I don't want to make any assumptions. Give me one more unexpected income there was some unexpected income that came and i believe it had to do with a letter a courtship something like that with a privileged lady now i just need to clarify this last row i know what i just saw come out but i didn't see it come out in the deck i was pulling 
Give me um give me another story, please. Give me another story, please. This is another story. This is not the same story as up there. It could be. <laughs> Tell me about the wealthy man and the privileged lady. What's the point of this? I know there's something with unexpected income, but please clarify. Why are they here? What what was supposed to happen with these folks? All right. Grief and sorrow. All right. It was supposed to be happiness. It says grief and sorrow reversed. So I'm assuming there was supposed to be some kind of happiness here. Let me see if I can get one more card. To... Grief and sorrow. Uh, somebody wanted to call somebody grief and sorrow. Expectation. Whatever, whatever somebody was expecting, somebody, it looks like somebody wanted grief and sorrow. Or they were supposed to be happy. But then it says expectation. I feel like somebody may have found out unexpected income and somebody found out about it. Or somebody was, the false person could have been expecting to become the privileged lady through the expectation of money. Something like that. Something like that. And then the house. This has to do with the house. Anyway, I got to go, guys. I love you. Bye.